So how do you learn about the environment your PHP code is going to be running in, especially if it's in a shared hosted environment? So you're going to be purchasing a server or pa purchasing some kind of shared hosting plan from a vendor. Well, there's a function built into PHP called PHP Info. And if you run that function within a PHP script, you will get a report that shows you the environment that your PHP code is running in so that you have a better idea of what to expect and also know what configuration changes you may need to, to do. So with that, let's go over to computer so I can show you how PHP Info works. So this is a basic script in order to run PHP Info. So all we're going to do is we're going to use the opening PHP tag and then we are going to simply run the PHP info function. We'll talk about functions more in other videos. But basically you type in PHP info, then open bracket, close bracket. This is for the function. Then you do a semicolon, and then we are going to close PHP. And what you're going to get here is you're going to get a full report about the, the environment your PHP code is running in. From here we do file, then we're going to save, and so we'll just call this PHP info. .php. So remember that that .php as the extension, and we're going to put this on the desktop. Once we've saved this, we can see that it's sitting on the desktop now. So then we go to our file manager for our web server, and now we're going to upload that file. We just simply choose file, and then we're going to do PHP info. and it has now been uploaded. So we have the index.php and the php.info. So if we go over and we go to silicondojo.com, we are still going to the file that's index.php. So what we're going to do here is we're simply going to go to phpinfo.php in order to call this script. And when we call this script, this is what we are going to get out of that PHP info function. So if you're brand new to PHP, a lot of this is going to be confusing. The important thing to understand, if you're running a script and you're, and you're getting specific errors, or if you're going to be running a script that somebody else has given you or you've downloaded, you'll be told that there's certain parameters that need to be enabled or disabled in your environment. And so you can come in here and you can take a look at that information. So we can see virtual directory support, where the PHP dot INI file is located. So this is something we'll talk about later. The PHP dot INI file is where all of these configurations are actually stored. So if you need to try to access that, that would be there. We can go through, we can take a lot look at a lot of the different information that's available, different variables that are turned on, turned off, whatever their, their settings are. And so all of this information will be given to you from this PHP info function. So this is a very important function to understand, especially if you're going to be using shared hosting environments so that you know what's going on with your PHP code. That's all there is to the PHP info function, how to create a basic script in order to call the PHP info function, and how to upload it and use it for your web server. This is definitely a tool that you will use over the years because many, many times your PHP script will simply not run or you'll have issues because of small configurations. It's important to understand, even if you write your PHP script 100% correct, there are no errors in your script, if the configurations in the php.ini file are set in certain ways, your script may not run. And so this is an issue that especially a lot of new coders run into. They think that they're coding things improperly, uh, when in reality it's the configurations on their server that are causing them the issue. So this is why PHP info matters and why it works in the real world.